Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get dirty with the Extreme Outlaw Midgets presented by Toyota. McDougal to set the pace. Green flag is out. Let's do it. McDougal with the whole shot will lead him through turns one and two. They are side by side, almost three wide. Exit in turn number two down the back straightaway. Gunner sets her into second, maybe for the lead. It will be McDougal to lead lap number one. Gunner sets her down low. You see, there goes the 19 AZ of Hayden Reinbold. Two second now takes the lead down the back straightaway. Reinbold shot out of a cannon down the back straightaway. Will lead lap number two. McIntosh, meanwhile, throwing some sliders as we got one stopped on the top side of turn number three. I believe that is the 14S of Tyler Edwards. Back underway, top two cars go right to the outside part of the racetrack. Jade Avedisi trying to throw a slider on her teammate. Meanwhile, her other teammate, Cannon McIntosh, gets to the inside to take over third. McIntosh slides up in front of Jade, who tries to cross him over, can't get it done, and Mac will move into third, Jade back to fourth. Ryan Timms trying to get up there as well. That orange JBL car looking to the inside of Jade in that 71 off turn four, can't quite make that slider work. Hayden Reinbold continues to lead. He's beginning to check out the battle for second, starting to heat up. A pair of Sooner State drivers. There goes Cannon McIntosh to the inside, throwing the slider in turn three. Big Dougal trying to cross him over, not gonna work. And the points leader, who has not finished outside the top five all year with this series, is into second. Jade Avedisian now trying to throw the slider on McDougal. Didn't have the momentum to get it done over there in turn three to make Coster. There goes Ryan Timms to the inside. Timms to the inside of the 71 down in turn to number one. McDougal bounces off the wall, it looks like. Timms takes over fourth. Ryan Bolt now with McIntosh right on his rear bumper as Mack will take a look to the inside in turn one. Unable to make it work. Ryan Bolt will lead off turn two, but a nice run off the bottom goes Kenna McIntosh. Big slider in turn number three, and McIntosh slides up. Reinbold trying to cross him over. 19 AZ remains out in front. McIntosh going to try the outside in turns one and two. 13 down this time, 5, 12 to go. McIntosh going to try the outside. Slider on the 93 to put him a lap down. Can of McIntosh right to the inside, coming off turn number two. Reinbold had to slide the 93 car of Kyle Bellum slid up the racetrack. Matt shot to the inside to take the top spot. McIntosh out in front. Big slider for Ryan Timms as he gets by the 19 AZ to take second. Timms now going to set his sights on his teammate, Kenna McIntosh, as they exit turn number four, nine to go here in Arrowhead. Cannon McIntosh. We'll see the white flag this time by as he slides. The 40 car coming off turn number four. White flag is out, one lap to go. Looking for a series leading sixth win this year. Looking for a series leading 11th career win with the Extreme Outlaw Midgets presented by Toyota here at Arrowhead off turn four. He gets it done in his home state. Cannon McIntosh, your winner here tonight. So there he is, race fans. He's climbing out of the race car. He can hear you, Arrowhead Speedway. Cannon McIntosh, your winner here tonight with Extreme. Oh, it's cool to win in, in front of my family. Uh, you know, I try to, you know, do it for them. I know they believe in me, so I uh, try, to, try to deliver when they're here watching. Uh, I feel like a lot of the time when they come watch, things just don't really go our way and don't get to stand in victory lane with them. So it'd be cool tonight to stand in victory lane with the family and uh, just a hell of a job from this KKM crew, man. Uh, everyone worked really hard. We had Rusty on board, Rusty Coons on board tonight. Uh, Caleb was handling the wrenches as well. Keith, you know, giving, giving them some insight. Uh, yeah, just they changed some things tonight just on team chemistry, but you know, they still come out and kill it and give me the best race car they can. And uh, you know, it's just my job to deliver, and we did that tonight. Uh, yeah, just from the drop of the green, I struggled a little bit on entry, but I knew the car had the speed. I just had to find out where to put it, and once I figured it out, I was able to run Hayden down from like a straightaway back. Uh, you know, he ran a great race, just got into traffic there and just got held up, but yeah, I was able to make good moves in traffic and uh, just struggled a little bit at the end when I got to traffic. Uh, I get such a run out of four on those guys and have to pretty much stop. Uh, and it was, it was pretty tricky, but yeah, just really good job by this team. Uh, everyone worked so hard. Caleb, Tamman, Spencer, uh, yeah, Rusty, Keith. Uh, there's so many great people on this team that I, I know I couldn't do it without. And I'm just thankful to be here. Uh, Gear Wrench and Toyota for, for having faith in me and 
got to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you know, when you've been there before, you try to do whatever you can to not let that happen again. And uh, it helps when you have a good group behind you as well. Um, you know, these guys believe in me, and uh, they're always telling me to keep my head up. And, and uh, you know, if they ever see me put my head down, they're, they're, they're always there backing me. So, um, yeah, it takes, a, it takes a group, really. It's not just one single person. Uh, it takes guys like that to, to put you in a position to do what we're doing right now. So, uh, yeah, it's just there's uh, no I in team, obviously. And, and uh, yeah, it takes all these guys working hard, uh, making no mistakes, and they don't make mistakes. So that's when it comes, comes down to me to not make the mistakes and, and just, just deliver at the end.